Alright, hey guys. So, today is Sunday, but I don't have an ER due. Uh, I don't think I had an ER due for the past few weeks, uh, just because we've been working on this huge project. We're using uh, multiple LM35DZ sensors, as opposed to just one that my last ER was for. So, because uh, it's not due today, it's due tomorrow, uh, Monday night, uh, I figured I would do something with the extra time. So, I had to make a fritzing image anyway, so I figured why don't I just record myself making the fritzing image, that way you guys can see what I do and how I do it. Uh, so let's get started. First I wanted to point out that fritzing has a new download, they updated it. So you can just go to fritzing.org and uh, it was released on the 16th, so that was two days ago. Uh, I just clicked on the latest version. And then they have everything that they support. Uh, I use OS X because I'm using a Mac. Uh, okay. So the main thing that I noticed in the new version was the uh, the search bar on the right top right corner. Uh, it, it has categories now, uh, rather than just the huge broad section and the little search bar. It still has the search section, but it just looks a lot better. So here's what I'm talking about over here. Uh, it has the core parts, and then it has different sections for everything. I think the most useful one's the Arduino section, because it has every kind of Arduino if you need it. It has the Mega, the Nano, <coughs> the Lily Pad, and it still has the search bar. So I'll record myself making this, but I doubt you want to see me make it in real time so my little video box over in the corner is going to go away you'll see my full screen and I'll fast forward through it uh, I hope this helps I'll you know talk to you again at the end of the video but uh, right see you at the end Watching me build that setup was helpful. Um, my main tip for this would be uh, when you're actually putting the wires in the pins, if you decided not to drag them from the pin to the uh, sensor like I did, for example if you just took a wire out of here and then put it into like a random pin. To make sure that the wire is actually in there, if you move the Arduino around, uh, the wires uh, should move with it. Um, yeah, I don't really need that wire. For the schematic view, I just spaced all these out. Um, doesn't really do much. Uh, if you auto root it, it does look a lot better, however. Um, I like this view a lot more. So we'll save that. And uh, I'll export it as an image just because I haven't done it yet, even though you guys have seen me do this before. Um, yeah, I'll save it to my desktop. Um, 
We'll just open that. Here's our multiple LM35DZ setup. Uh, I made the wires different colors just so I can see which ones go to each sensor. Um, tomorrow, when I actually do my ER, I'll show you my breadboard setup, and you'll notice that each sensor has a different wire too. Um, <clears throat> I'll also export the bill of materials while I'm at it. Uh, this will open in your default browser. So mine is Chrome. Uh, it used to be Opera. It works in both. It'll work in Firefox too and Safari. I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure it will. So again, you I've gone through this before, but uh, it tells you what uh, what we used, uh, what we need to get. Uh, again, it's pretty simple. It's just two things. Uh, I hope this helped. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> um, and uh, tomorrow night, so Monday night, my ER will be up. And uh, I hope you guys watch that. And I hope it helps too. So thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.